Hi guys, it's the last day of BOGOs and one second, sorry. I am so excited because my absolute favorite combination of essential oils are any citrus and mint. This is like a mood boosting, try not to hate everything, get your crap together combination of oils that will help you feel maybe like less sad about your life or just help you get in a better mood, help you cheer up your kids, your husband, your friends, whatever, because this combination is super uplifting and just will kind of like help you focus and give you back some energy. So anytime I can get my hands on any kind of citrus oil, I always do because they are mood boosting and I love using oils so much to manage my feelings and just to make myself feel better about whatever it is that's going on. So let's start with spearmint because today's deal is to buy spearmint for $28 and you get tangerine and lime for free. Spearmint has a lot of great qualities. My personal favorite is the emotional qualities and benefits because it is the oil of confident speech. So what it can do for you emotionally is it can help you feel more confident in presentations, in front of other people, or it can also help you to speak your mind if you're in a situation where you're like, oh crap, like this may not be received well, or um, I don't feel comfortable giving my true opinions, and you're the kind of person that maybe shies away from actually speaking in their mind because you're scared you may like offend someone, or you're like um, an Enneagram 9, like a peacemaker like myself. Spearmint has the emotional capabilities to help you speak your mind freely, speak your mind confidently, and put yourself out there, basically. It's also great for helping kids in speech therapy, kids who are struggling with their speech with conditions like stuttering or diction or pronunciation. Um, I know a lot of kids on the spectrum, it's been very helpful using it, rolling it on their throats or up and down their spine. If you wanted to use it for speech, it's awesome to use it with lavender too because lavender will kind of give you the calm and then spearmint gives you the help with the diction, pronunciation, and the confidence that you need in speaking your mind no matter where it is. It's one I personally use every year. We give a big speech with the fifth graders in front of a huge room of people at the PAC Center at Upper Darby's High School and it's intimidating and massive and it reminds me just to speak clearly, to take my time, and to just trust that it will all be okay. And it really, really helps a ton. So that is just one of the emotional benefits. There are lots of great physical benefits for spearmint too. It can be used similar to peppermint because it has a lot of the same qualities. So it's great for digestion, um, indigestion, colic, nausea. You can apply it to your stomach. You can add it to water too, <clears throat> excuse me. It's great if you have any kind of like bad breath issues like gingivitis or things like that. I don't know my face looked like that when I said it. I guess I just pictured smelling someone's bad breath when I talked about the fact that it could help you with someone's bad breath. But um, like really like severe bad breath, you know, this is something that you could take in a capsule and it would help relieve those issues. Um, bronchitis and respiratory issues, similar to peppermint, it's going to help open up your airways. So applying spearmint topically, and some people have an aversion to peppermint, they just don't like the smell of it. So this is a great alternative to help open up your airways if you're not that cool with the smell of peppermint. This one's interesting too, it's good for acne, sores, and scars that you can apply it to the area of concern to help with those things. Again, just be careful, like Deep Blue and any of the other minty oils, you wanna keep it away from your eyes. And if you're a guy, you wanna make sure you wash your hands really well because you don't wanna use the bathroom after you use spearmint on your hands because similar to Deep Blue, that could be like a little bit uncomfortable. So be careful with that. It's gonna cool off your body the same way peppermint does. So you can apply it to the back of your neck, the back of your knees or your spine if you're feeling super hot and sweaty and you just wanna feel calmer. Great for focus. That's why I like this blend so much today of these three oils because whenever you combine a mint and a citrus, it's really gonna help with your focus. You can apply it topically to the back of your neck to help with that too. So if you are like an ADD squirrel or if you're just a grown up with like a lot of stuff on your plate and you really just can't get it together because there's just so much, Spearmint will kind of help you to focus your mind, focus your energy on one task at a time. Um, depression and fatigue. Come on, right? <laughs> a lot of people I know are struggling with just being tired all the time. 
tired all the time because there's so much to do and there's so much to take care of. So it's gonna help give you back some a little, a little bit of energy. Um, this one is this one I didn't know about till I checked it in the book, but it's interesting. It says for slow or heavy menstruation, so you can apply it over the abdomen or the back of the neck for that too. So if you are, I don't know, I don't know anybody that I know who's suffering from slow menstruation, like I would think that's probably a good thing. I don't know, unless it's like a fertility issue or like, you know, a functioning issue, but I know a lot of women struggle with heavy menstruation and it just becomes a problem. So this is one thing that you can use on your abdomen. If that is something that you're struggling with too, there are a couple different recipes too that you can make rollers of to apply topically to your abdomen um, to kind of help alleviate those issues. Headaches and migraines, the same as peppermint. It's gonna relieve the pressure and cool things off and help calm your nervous system so that you feel a little bit better. All right, so that's spearmint. Let's talk about your freebies. Tangerine is the first one. Tangerine is like a cousin to orange. It smells super similar, but it has a few different properties. Um, it's great as an antioxidant. It's good for sadness, irritability, impulsiveness. So if you're feeling blue, it's one of the oils you want to diffuse or put on topically. Be careful with tangerine now in the summertime because it's photosensitive. So you definitely don't want to put it on and then like go out to the beach because you're definitely going to get burned because it just heightens the um, reaction from the sun and not the coolest thing to put on when you're going to be in the sun. So we say if it's, you know, you're outside and you're applying tangerine, just put it where the sun doesn't see, which, you know, is up to you depending on what your body comfort level is. Now this one is similar to wild orange, is good for sleep too. So it's going, these bugs are so loud. You hear this? So sorry, it's like very aggressive type of bug out here. If you are, I feel like I have to talk louder to overcompensate for it. So if you're having some sleep anxiety, like you're laying down to sleep at night and it's just so, you know, your mind is, is racing and you can't shut it off, you can diffuse this with any of your sleepy oils like cedarwood, vetiver, um, lavender serenity and it's gonna help kind of shut off that overthinking digestive stuff so if you're having some digestive issues you can take it in a capsule like sluggish bowels all that fun stuff um, any kind of stomach thing you could take it in a capsule this one I really like a lot overthinking or feeling stuck so if you're a classic overthinker like you want to think about things for like you know in depth to the point that it totally stresses you out you can inhale it or apply it um, under the nose or across the forehead again be careful in the sun it's great for dry cracked skin and dandruff too which i didn't even know you can apply it to the area of concern skin irritations rashes and burns plus it just smells so good it smells so good i am going to double check right here and just see the emotional benefits of it i left my emotions book at home so I asked my oil friends to post it and I knew the one for spearmint because I have used that so much but I wasn't sure what the emotional benefits of tangerine are. Okay, so it says tangerine is, oh, this is fun. Tangerine is the oil of gladness and creativity. And I'll post them in here too so you guys can read, I'm not gonna read the whole thing to you. But it says tangerine strong qualities of joyfulness can lift the darkest of moods. We kind of need some lifting around here right now, so that is something I'm going to try. It can assist those who feel cut off from the lightness of heart often manifested by children. Those who feel overburdened by responsibility would benefit from tangerine's uplifting vibration. It encourages a person to be creative and spontaneous. And the negative emotions it helps are overburdened by responsibilities, like literally every mother I know, fulfilled, no I'm sorry, stifled creativity duty bound because we have to like do stuff for everybody all the time overworked heavy hearted and joyless so if you're feeling any of those things tangerine can help you kind of get out of your slump and it's suggested aromatically obviously diffuse it or um, apply one to two drops on wrist over heart or sacral chakra which is your upper stomach okay that's good to know all right, so that's tangerine. The last guy is lemon. Honestly, I don't know a person that couldn't use another bottle of lemon because the uses for it are insane. I think, I don't know if I should be embarrassed or proud of this, but I'm pretty sure I order a bottle of lemon once a month because we go through it so fast because it is so useful. 
One, it's awesome in your drinking water. It's a natural way to detox your body and it's also a good way to flavor your water so you drink more of it because we all know we should be drinking at least half of our body weight in ounces every day. And regular water gets pretty boring so lemon is really helpful for that. Um, what else do we use it for all the time? Gosh, we use it, I diffuse it all the time. It's perfect in the allergy blend with lemon and peppermint because Jane's allergies are bananas literally all the time. I think her eyes almost like swole, swole shut the other day. She was a mess. So that's a huge ingredient in that. I love to clean with it. So those of you who use lemon to clean with, you guys know it smells awesome. It's way better than any of the toxic chemicals and artificial fragrances that are in some of the lemon cleaners where you think it smells like lemon, but it's just a bunch of toxic crap that we don't need to smell. So it's good for cleaning anything. Sharpie marker going to take it off. It's going to get the crayons off the wall that maybe like, you know, people have sometimes taken to it like a canvas and you are sick of looking at it. You could just put a little lemon on a rag with some water and just wipe it off and it will come right off. All the sticky gunk that um, maybe little people in your house leave all over the place that you're like, why is this so sticky? Why can't I get it up? One drop of lemon will literally take any sticky thing away. Like price tags on the bottom of things that you buy at home goods because everybody literally loves home goods so you know you have stuff from there and sometimes these price tags are really hard to get off we'll totally take it off great to clean with in my classroom I don't use the um, expo spray to clean the dry erase boards because again chemicals we don't need I think I had eight eight or nine kids in my class with asthma last year so I'm not gonna add anything to the air that's gonna make it more difficult for them to breathe so instead I just have a spray bottle filled with lemon and water basic so easy and I sprayed my board every day it smelled amazing and everything came off and it was a ton cheaper than buying those expo sprays too because the bottle of lemon is $11 so literally it doesn't cost much at all and I put maybe like 10 drops in there's what I think like 250 drops in a bottle so that's like 25 bottles of expo for $11 this is a no-brainer guys all right, other things physically that lemon can help with, kidney and gallstones. Didn't know this, but it says it can be applied diluted over the area of discomfort, add a heat back to intensify the action. Um, water retention, so if you're retaining water and you're swollen, um, put it in your water or put it in a veggie cap and take it internally that way. Heartburn and reflux, it can help with internally. Congestion and mucus, lemon, that's why it's a main ingredient in flume, which is what we use when we start to get sick. Frankincense, lemon, oregano, on guard, and melaleuca. The lemon is that congestion and mucus kind of breaks it down, takes it away. Runny nose, this is a great one. So if you or your kids have any runny nose, put some lemon on the bottom of your feet and it will totally dry it up in no time. Um, arthritis, it also says gout and arthritis. You could take it in a glass of water. Didn't know that. All right, it takes you from mindless to energized. Let's see. My good friends hooked me up with the lemon too. Yes, thank you, Lara. Okay, so lemon is focus. So this is a great one to diffuse with maybe rosemary or um, maybe peppermint too, or spearmint, duh, spearmint. All right, so this says that lemon engages the mind and aids concentration. It supports the emotional body. Its major effects are experienced in the mental field. So it helps restore energy, mental flexibility, and a drive to complete a project. This would be great to pair with the blue tansy, um, blue toe challenge. You know how everyone's doing that where you put a drop of blue tansy on your big toe and it helps you be more productive and focused? You could add some lemon to this to help with that too. Now this, I really like the second paragraph. As a teacher and as a mother of a child that really struggles with her focus, it says that lemon is especially helpful in learning issues. Whether an individual has a difficult time concentrating or feels incapable of learning. Oh, this makes me sad. Listen, guys, lemon clears self-judgments such as I'm dumb or I'm not a good student. Lemon calms fears and insecurities while restoring confidence in the self. Emotionally, lemon inspires a natural playfulness and buoyancy in the heart. It assists in releasing feelings of despair and hopelessness by restoring feelings of joy and happiness. It inspires joyful involvement in the present moment by infusing the soul with energy, confidence, and alertness. Who wouldn't want to give that to their kids, right? That's great. So that is some information about today's deals. 
Um, you guys, if you don't know already, I'll just remind you that you can always log into your account to just add this to your cart today. So if you just add Spearmint to your cart in your own account, process the order today, and they'll automatically throw tangerine and lemon in for free. It will ship to you. If you've already processed your LRP or you want to get on our bulk order, just let me know. I'm placing orders for everybody. Um, they'll ship to me. And if you're local, there's no shipping cost to you then. We can just arrange a time to pick it up. Or if you are not local, I'll ship it to you with any other BOGOs you got this month for $5. So that's that. I hope this was helpful and gave you some more information about how you could use these oils. I'll post some recipes in the group later today for diffuser blends or roller balls just to give you some different ways to use them. All right, happy last day of BOGOs. This has been so fun. And let me know if you guys have any questions or need anything.